Hey guys, this is Fugin Grey Night One, and I'm once again talking about the Walking Dead character Bios. And today I'm talking about Marlin. Now, Marlin was the leader of the group of kids which ended up taking Clem and AJ in. In fact, it seemed like he was one of the kids who actually was there when Clem and AJ were rescued. He seemed to be a good leader. And he seems to basically be a good organizer of these kids, actually. Marlon didn't actually seem as affected as Brody, as I mentioned before, of what happened with Sophie and Minnie. But there are certain moments in the game where you can tell that he's not exactly as composed as he may seem. Yeah, well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Shit. Sorry. Yes, it's kind of a front. Marlon has this whole demeanor where he's basically always keeping his composure, like a good leader should, you know? Not thinking of emotions, but just thinking what's best for the group. So the two main things that Marlin seems to have for his personality are group protection and fear. Those are the two main things which he uses to make his decisions, it would seem like. Even though I wouldn't say he's a great leader, he's actually not a bad one. He seems to be thinking of the group first. When, when he gave up Sophie and Minnie, he probably was afraid of the Delta, and he was like, you know what? We need to protect our group. So sorry, Sophie and Minnie, you guys have to go because we need to protect our group. And... Notice, as Asim pointed out, he pulled back the safe zone, and he kept pulling it back. It seems like he was fearing that the Delta will come back for the group, so he was like, alright, let's pull back the safe zone. Because they were probably far away from the safe zone when they got caught by the Delta, so he probably just kept pulling it back to try to protect the group. And that seems to still be his decision making. When he finds out basically, oh, the Delta is back, let, then he's like, let's give Clem and AJ up. They're not technically a part of the group yet, so it makes sense that he's like, we're going to protect our group. We got to protect our group. So that seems to be Marlon's basic decision. But in his protecting of the group, he doesn't realize how much he's actually damaging it. Giving up Sophie and Minnie, also killing Brody, and then trying to blame it on Clem. And it's not until he's mentally broken down by both the group and Clem in time, he finally seemingly realizes that in his zeal to protect the group, he actually damaged it himself. Sometimes group leaders actually damage the very thing that they're trying to defend. But let's face it, Marlon using fear to make his decisions to protect the group was not the main purpose of his character. The main purpose was... Yeah, that was the biggest part of Marlon's character. It was to show AJ being psychopath-like. That was one of the best endings to a Walking Dead episode because it really shocked us. I didn't see it coming. I don't think a lot of people saw it coming. Boom! That's it. And that seemed to be the main purpose of Marlon. Show us what AJ was becoming. So unlike other characters, I'm not exactly sad or whatnot that Marlon died off. I'm sad that kind of AJ killed him in that manner. But Marlon basically served his purpose. He was done. He, he didn't have potential, in my opinion, like Brody did. Basically, after the confession and everything, there was no more use to keep his character around. If Marlon had been alive, I think he would have given the group up to the Delta. Because once again, he would have based the decision, I believe, on fear and wanting to protect the members of the group. But what did you guys think about Marlon? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.